Hi guys, I'm Azelle from the upcoming. Lovely to meet you both. Congratulations on the first omen. Um, so perhaps, Bill, I could start with you. Um, obviously, this is a precursor to Richard Donner's 1976 horror classic of The Omen. What can you expect from the storylines this time around? Well, anyone who admired any of The Omen films, I think, will be, can relax. Because uh, I think they'll just be delighted. Because it's uh, the prequel, this film, The First Omen, is, uh, is powerful. And it delivers. And it honours the previous movies. Um, so they can expect more of the same, only probably amped up a touch <laughs> uh, with, uh, you know, the modern techniques. So uh, omen plus omen. It'll be, it, it'll be a ride. <laughs> omen squared. <laughs> omen squared, exactly. And Nell, obviously, you played an unhinged nanny in The Servant series. I did, indeed. <laughs> um, so did that kind of prepare you a little bit for this role in this? And what was it about the script and the role that kind of appealed to you? I think it did prepare me for sure. I think it was a very like a it feels it almost feels like a natural you know next step really with the world that Servan existed in now the world that this this movie exists in so I'm gesticulating in your face That's right. That's right. I'm blocking you from the shot um, nothing new <laughs> I didn't do much preparation because she's a new character in in this new you know this this new story that we're telling and um me and Akasha just kind of riffed off of each other and tried to figure her out together and piece her together so that she felt real and likable and also hopefully quite scary at points so it was a fun little fun little balance <laughs> But obviously for you, I mean, you, you come into this and we sort of know you for this warm, caring roles that sometimes you've played. So we sort of see that happen as well. And then you meet Margaret and you show you show her around Rome and it all feels very welcoming. But there's this, obviously this dark undertone to this, obviously, as we discover later on. So what was it about the role, the script that you saw and thought, I really like this character? What sort of appealed to you about taking this on? I broke a rule because I don't... This is the first time I've ever played a religious figure. Um, and I sort of had an unformed rule that I wasn't going to do that. But uh, and in this case, I just because the script is really good and re and good scripts are rare. And I don't mind the genre uh, as long as the writing is great. And, and it obviously worked. And I liked everyone involved. So um, uh, and it's, you know, it was a, it was a, it was identifiably a good part. So I just, you know, I turned up. <laughs> Thank, thank God, <laughs> you did. And um, obviously, are you, are you, how does it feel to have this female representation dominate this kind of horror story arc for you? I mean, it's it's wonderful. I think it's you know we're telling a story about the birth of evil incarnate, and you know how the devil on earth came to be, and you know it doesn't really scream out as something an opportunity to have a play around with some feminist undertones, but. <laughs> They just came quite naturally out of out of the story, and you know it's such a topical thing that we're all talking about at the moment, and it's a it's it's an issue that you know what what women can and can't do with their bodies, and what, you know it's an issue that's close to every woman's heart, I imagine. So yeah, and, and thematically, we needed all of these things, and we needed all of them to tell the story and to tell it properly, and. Um, None of it's there gratuitously or just for the sake of it or just, you know, to... I saw someone say something like wokeify. I don't really know what that means, but I don't think that's what we're doing. I'm, I'm not sure. But, um, but, yeah, I mean, I think it lent itself to having a female protagonist, luckily for me. <laughs> and obviously, you know, there's uh, some pretty horrific moments that come through the film. Um, I'm not going to give it away for any spoilers for viewers coming in, but were there any particular scenes or moments on set that you found either particularly challenging or a real highlight for you? Well it's difficult to say without spoiling the film for people really um, there was some as I you know but when you play kind of genre hor I mean horror or you know I've been a vampire I've been a werewolf I've been a squid I've been uh, various you know I'm, I'm no stranger to the genre <laughs> world squid. and often it, 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 it gets weird it gets funny yeah. It gets funny because it's kind of preposterous. I mean, that doesn't, that's not a lack of respect for the form. It's just that act, the actual perf doing it becomes very funny. It's hard to keep a straight face. So some of the most, the grimmest scenes would be quite, you know, would be, you have to laugh, as Nell was saying earlier. You have to laugh, otherwise you could be in trouble, you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, it's, a, it's a good way of letting off steam. There was a, there's like, you know, in sort of the, the, the climax of the movie, we spent around four days, four, four, four days, three days in this sort of cave that we had built in, on the studio. And um, 
it was really oppressive and it, it, it was very heavy, but it made everything a lot funnier because we're like inside of this pressure cooker and we've all kind of gone a bit mad. <laughs> so there was this moment where, Bill, I said this earlier, but it is so funny and I'm going to keep saying it. There was this moment where he was on a dolly and he's being pulled away from me and it's a very serious moment in the movie, but it was absolutely hilarious. So him in his costume just silently, you could hear the dolly squeaking. And it was just... And Bill just disappearing into the shadows, and it was absolutely brilliant. And I, he was doing such a wonderful job, and I was trying my absolute hardest not to throw him off by howling and cackling, which would have been terribly rude, and I would never do to you. No. But <laughs> it was bloody hilarious. Well, thank you guys so much for speaking to me. I hope everyone enjoys it as much as me. Um, oh, thank good. you very much. Thank, well, thank you. Care. Bye.